Hey everybody, welcome back to DW's Chop Shop. Uh, we are still working on our sissy bar here. As you can see, I need to weld everything in place. Everything's tack welded, but we all know that's not gonna hold real good. And I gotta clean up one little piece of splatter right there. No biggie. So we're gonna get this stuff welded in place. Um, then we're gonna run our wiring all the way through everything. See how that's gonna work out, which it should work out really good. Um, and then we're going to hide our wiring behind the license plate. And that's honestly it. Once that's done, you know, obviously this bike isn't ready for me to run wiring, but I need to make sure this all works the way I want it to work uh, before this gets sent off to powder coat, because we're not going to be able to make a lot of changes to it after that. So anyways, uh, let's get welding. this stuff welded in and I don't know if you guys know this you just see the steam come off of that but wiring is like you can fucking melt it so we're gonna give this a hot minute to cool off and some of these welds I went kind of thick on I went uh, put a little too hot but what that did do was you see this is hotter than hell but it's sturdy now it ain't going anywhere because I was thinking we might have to build in on the sides here, but I really don't think we're going to need to do that, especially once we run all this wiring through. There isn't much of a reason that we can't get this put on here. So let me see the best way to fasten this. I don't know if it's going to be bolts necessarily. So I think the easiest way to get these installed is going to be with rivets. So I want to see about where these are going to mount down here and it looks like it'll just be on either side of this and of course this will be on the back side it'll mount this way but while it's up there these mounts are going to get our uh, jumpers on it and this side is where we're going to have power come in and it's going to jumper power is going to come in jumper across using one of these and then so power in power out power out power out the light 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 right okay so let's mark where we want this to go all right so i want to mark where this is going to go right and we're going to rivet it in place of course it's going to go on the back here but we got to mark our spots on the front. So I just want to make sure, and it looks like if I line a corner up with this inside piece, and I can even move it over just a bit, but that gives me enough room to run wires and run jumpers. 
and everything will be pretty well hidden. Same thing on the other side should be. Okay, this side for whatever reason, well, because there's a big bigger weld back here. So this side we will, well, yeah, I think that'll be all right. We'll make it in line. Now, I could and probably should just stop right here because obviously I can't get this powder coated with a piece of plastic riveted to it, but I want a little bit of proof of concept. So, oh good, that lines up. So we're gonna rivet one of these in place and I just wanna make sure that everything bolts up to it the way that it should. So for those of you that are scared of electrical, I don't blame you. I don't, it's not my favorite thing either, but it's a necessity. So these jumpers just slide in like that. And you can make this jumper out of, you know, whatever wiring you feel like making it out of. Man, and those are thicker than I thought they were. So this side will work. I'll have to redrill this side, or at least redrill this bottom. Okay. This we're going over here. How's that one line up? Whole hole, perfect. Works really good. See what we got going on there? Okay. I can now touch stuff and not cry. So let's see how our wiring is going to work.
That's going to look good. Look at that. Nice hidden wiring. Once the seat's on, you'll never see it. Okay, so let's come on back over to the front. Let's go over putting one of these bulbs on. So this kit comes with a flat bulb like this, right? So flat face and then kind of a rounded bulb, right? Rounded looks a little bit older and I think it gives it some character because you'll see some red from the side. So I think we're going to go with that. And the way those stay in is they have these clips, right? And there's a groove right inside here. And this is also how they're waterproof. I don't have any spare wire, but these are have a rubber seal on them. So I stick this in. And I can get this spread out. See how it just kind of started? Oops, popped out. But once you get one in, you can kind of walk it around. There we go. I just popped in. See that? And that I will get rid of. Don't worry. Let's do the other two. All right. What do you say we put some power to that? See what it looks like. Let me kill this light. All right. And I don't know if I need to explain this to you guys, but this isn't going to be uh, correct because I'm just going to set one of my spare batteries down here and twist tie some of these wires together and smack them on there. I believe this comes with some decent instructions too on what wire goes to where. Uh, of course, black is ground and orange, I believe, is your running light and red, I believe, is your brake light. So this is the running light. So this is what it's going to look like anytime it's on. And then we hit the brakes. Cruising down the highway, hitting the brakes. 100 mile an hour, small bump in the road. Cruising down the highway, cop. Cruising down the highway, bar. Cruising down the highway, kitties. Cruising down the highway. Okay, see, that's not bad, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, well. This is it, guys. We have a sissy bar. It's wired. It works. Um, Ta-da. So next thing we're going to do, 
I got a little bit of custom work I want to do on that gas tank. I don't know if you watched the video to put it on, but it kicked my ass 10 ways from Sunday, so I suggest you go watch it. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, hope this helps somebody. Bye.